Hello, this is episode two of A Little Something from Jason Sims. If you want to know more about this podcast, Google it. Uh, I want to let you know where your expectations should be uh, for when this podcast shows up in your feed. Like, at what level should your excitement be? There are some podcasts that when they show up in your feed... It's like somebody brought donuts to work. You know, you show up and there's a box of Dunkin' or Krispy Kreme, or if you're fortunate enough to live in Coleman, Alabama, the greatest donuts in the world, uh, the Duchess Bakery donuts. There's a bag there of Duchess Bakery, but I, I do not want to lie to you. That is not where your expectations should be as far as when this podcast shows up in your feed. Uh, this podcast is like if somebody walks by your desk at work and they have like a king size bag of M and M's, and they're like, "Hey, would you like a couple of M and M's?" You know, hopefully they're your favorite M and M's, but they're just a couple of M and M's. Now, if you're my friend David Hit, your favorite M and M's are probably some strange, unnatural flavor of M and M's. Uh, in fact, his snacks—I think his favorite snacks—are all these weird, unnatural snacks that should not be. And if that's the worst thing you can say about a person, that means they're probably a pretty good person. And that's where David Hitt falls on the person spectrum, uh, on the good end. Also, I want to let you know that this podcast is being recorded uh, in the parking lot of a Whole Foods. So that should let you know exactly where it is on the coolness spectrum, which is lower than a lot, but higher than some. Before we continue, I just want to talk to you about mattresses. Everybody needs a mattress. And if you need a mattress, just go outside. Uh, there are mattress stores everywhere. I don't understand the economy of this, uh, but there are mattress stores everywhere. And in fact, every time I go on YouTube to watch a clip, perhaps uh, when that guy in that Max Headroom mask hijacked the PBS channel in Philadelphia that time, uh, if I go online to watch that, uh, I, they, somebody tries to sell me a mattress. And uh, podcasts are a good place where you can get codes for discounts or free trials on mattresses. So what I'd like to do now is not give you one of those because I'm not sponsored by a mattress company. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But I am here to talk to you about sleeping on the floor. Uh, sleeping on the floor has a couple of big advantages over mattresses. Number one, I presume you already own a floor. Unless everything in your house is suspended from the ceiling and you swing around on a rope like Spider-Man uh, to get from room to room, I'm just assuming you have a floor. Um, that's number one. It's cheap. You already got it. You're already paying for it. Or you have paid for it or someone's paying for it. Point two, no matter uh, where you are in your house, if you get tired, well, then you are right there. Uh, congratulations, lay down, you are in bed now. Um, now, of course, you may have to wear your covers around your house like a cape and sling your pillow over your shoulder like an old-timey burglar bag, but that is a good look. But then you're ready. You're just ready. I mean, anytime, you know, if you, if you, if you fall down for whatever reason, uh, maybe it's time for a nap if you're falling, if you're an adult, a grown person, and you're falling down. There could be any number of reasons why that might mean it's time for a nap. And there you are. You are ready to go. Now, like I said, there are a lot of podcasts that will offer you codes for free trials for mattresses. But what I'm offering you today is a 30-day free trial of sleeping on your floor. There's no forms to fill out. There's no codes to enter. But just know that if you, you do this for 30 days, I'm going to see a little money on it. I don't want to explain to you how, I mean, I just trust me. Look, I wish I didn't know how I'm going to make money on this. Uh, if, if I explain it to you, it would just bring up more questions than it would answers. And you would live in a nightmarish world from that point on. So I don't, I don't want you to know. Trust me, just sleep on your floor for 30 days and see if it don't change your life. I'm done talking now.